Hey everybody, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I went back to the Carm Christmas store, 75% off, I could not resist it. So, I wanted to share with you one last haul from the Carm Christmas store. I said that last time, but a friend of mine wanted to go and I just couldn't say no. So, let's just dive right on into this and get started, and I'll show you some of the things that I got. Now, I am still right now looking at Christmas stuff. If I find it on sale, I am picking it up because I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to resell. And I know that everything I've got here, I can always flip on Facebook Marketplace or do something like that with it or use it as decor in my own home. So I'm not buried in this to where, you know, I've spent like $6,000 or something like that. You know, I've spent less than $200. So I'm good with everything there. So let's get up, let's get started and let's look at everything. The first thing that I want to show you, and this was quite possibly my very favorite find of the day. And all of this is wrapped in paper because most of it is breakable. But I found a set, a pair of these angels. Look at these. These are candle holders. These are pressed glass. There is a difference between cut glass and pressed glass. Pressed glass will feel a little more uh, dull to your finger. When you feel it, it'll be more rounded, the edges will. And pressed glass has a seam. This actually was, um, and I'm looking for the seam in here. I found it the other day, but I don't actually see it. Yeah, it's right here, right here on down the side. Um, so that's how to tell the difference between pressed glass and cut crystal. Pressed glass will have a seam. These were originally, there's two of them. The other one is right here. And these were originally $19.99 and they were 75% off. So they were about six bucks for this set. I just love these. I love the way you can put those taper candles here in the back. I just think these are just lovely, lovely, um, just a lovely set. So that's something that I'm really considering keeping those, but I did get them with a purpose. And when I pull out what I got them for, I will show you. So the next thing that I got was, I got this little votive. This has Christmas trees on it, they're frosted. This was originally $4.99 and of course it was 75% off. And I thought I would pour a candle in here. I thought that would be really, really pretty is to just do a scented candle, maybe peppermint or maybe even, you know, coffee or something. I don't know, I love the smell of coffee. So I thought maybe this might be a good little thing to do a candle pour in. The bowl, size of the bowl is right and it's just a lovely little decorative piece. So I got that. And as we were going out the door, my friend Ellen <laughs> saw this and showed it to me. Here's another little bowl. This was from, this is Mikasa. This says a Mikasa candy dish. Um, I don't know if that's actually a candy dish or not, uh, but it has little angels on it. It does need to be cleaned up and shined up. This is also, this is going to be pressed glass, not cut glass. So there's nothing wrong with pressed glass. I'm just saying that there is a difference between the two and you will, when you feel it, you'll know. Um, I recently just learned this, so I'm sharing this with you all. So this was $6.99 and of course it had 75% off and I will probably pour a candle in this as well and that way people can keep the bowl afterwards. So the next thing was I found these two cups and these are collectible cups. They are by a company called Lang, L-A-N-G. They were $19.99 originally, but of course I got them for 75% off. And here's the one with Santa. They're new in the box. Isn't that cute? It's just a retro Santa. It says candy canes, Santa's Christmas candy canes. 
I just loved him. And with the retro look being so popular right now, I just thought that was just as cute as it can be. So I looked these up online and they're selling anywhere from um, 10 bucks to $35. And so I figured for 75% off $19.99, I really can't go wrong with them. Um, if anything, I'll just give them to somebody right like this because they're just cute. The other one has the little snowman on it. And let's get this one out and look. I thought this was just adorable too. It's got the little peppermint on the inside, but look at this. Isn't this cute? So for a Lang collector, and evidently my friend Ellen knows a lot about this stuff, and she said that it Lang was a collectible. She said she had some Lang pieces. And it's um, Susan Wingett is the one who designed this. This one was from 2005. And Susan Wingett, I know, has done a lot of stuff. I have some Susan Wingett um, canister set in my kitchen that I thrifted at the same place I got these at CARM. It was a different CARM, but Knox Area Rescue Ministries, but I just love these. And I thought, you know, these would make a good gift for somebody. Um, because these are not coffee cups that you're gonna see every single day. So you could put a little treat in there and give it to somebody. Now these will not be, um, obviously I am not going to pour a candle in these. These are going to be probably for sale as is, right like this. And we'll just, we'll see how that goes. The next thing I got was, y'all I know I said I wasn't gonna get any more books, but I had an epic book fail there because there were so many good books. So for my little um, for my little great grandson and my grandson, I got this little Moody Bible story books, Born in a Stable. All the books were a dollar ninety nine with seventy five percent off, and may the peace of Christ be yours this Christmas. And this one was ninety nine cents. Um, Oh, that's not a children's book. That's just a little book. I just figured I would get this little book and just tuck it in something in somebody's gift somewhere or something. Um, so, yeah, there's place to write. And then there's little things about Christmas in here, Christmas celebrations, little uh, Bible verses. Um, really good to give to a family, maybe to read to their children during the holiday season. Um, I just thought it was cute and interesting. And so I was like, you know, people are used to getting books from me. So whether they end up at CARM, maybe I'm rebuying back some of the books that I've given people. But I do like to tuck little things like this into people's gift bags. So the next thing I got, and I got two of these. And this is what I got to go with the angels. This is, I'm going to bet from looking at this, I would bet that this is Mikasa as well. I don't know that it is, but it sure looks like it. It's angels and a Christmas tree. It was $4.99 originally. And it's, of course, 75% off. But I thought this would look really cute with one of these angels sitting in it. And you could put candy around it and then have your candle there. I just thought this was beautiful. This would make a gorgeous display and a great gift to give somebody. Because, um, you know, who doesn't need a little platter like this? I know I have small group at my house every other week and I host it. And I would love to have something like this to just sit around and, you know, maybe serve serve candy or, you know, put your dip bowl in here and maybe some crackers, you know, little small crackers, because there's only eight of us, you know, there's not that many. And when I have company, I usually have no more than three or four people here at a time other than, you know, the small group. So this would be perfect for those of us who entertain small groups of people. I just think it's really cute. It would be great for like a little relish tray. It's just cute. Put candy, put a couple of donuts in there. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I did get two of those. I was lucky to find two. So I got one for each angel. And I thought it would be a good little thing for, you know, you know, I thought that would be a good little combination, right like that. So the next thing I got was, I found these new in a box 
Oneida mugs. Now the box looks a little the worse for wear. This was $8.99 for all these mugs. And they're all different. And I'm not gonna take them all out because I like to never got them back in the box after I got them out and looked at them and made sure they weren't you know, cracked or anything. But this is a sample of them. Aren't these pretty? I mean, look at these. It's a pear, harvest peach, la pear. I mean, isn't that pretty? So I thought these are not strictly Christmas items, but they were there in the Christmas shop. So they sold them 75% off. I was glad, very, very glad to get them. And they come in the decorative box. Now, if I sell the, if I gift these, I will probably take them out of the box. If I gift them, uh, if I if I gift them, I'll probably take, if I gift these, end up gifting these, I'll probably take them out of the box and put them in a basket. But if I sell them, I will take them out of here and just give the person the box so they can, or you know, let, fix it so they can transport it in the box. But I absolutely love these. I thought that's just gorgeous. There's all the designs right there on the front. I love stoneware. That if if I have a preferred uh, any you know any type of dishes or serving pieces, I'm always going to pick stoneware because I just like it. It kind of suits my aesthetic. So I just thought those were gorgeous. So I got them. And here's that other little angel tray that I picked up. Let's see, I don't know what's in this, so we'll just find out right here. Oh. I got this little snowman simply because I thought this was a cute, this is a little tea light holder and I thought he kind of went with this. So I might put these together in a little set and sell them like this. This one is by Hallmark. This was $4.99, um, of course with the 75% off. I just loved it. I thought it was, I thought it's just really cute. It's very simple. I don't know if you can see that with the light, but it's a little snowman. It says Merry Days on there. Isn't it cute? Get right in there. There it is. I'm going to tone down that ring light just a little bit. Okay, maybe that's better. There it is. I don't know if that's any better, but that's what it looks like. Okay, the next thing I got is I got some platters. And this first one is from Neiman Marcus. This has angels on it. And it's a Neiman Marcus platter, perfect condition, and it's got the hallmark on it. Um, and it was $9.99, of course, that would make it $3. And these, these were not as good a buy as the platters I got at the ReStore for 50 cents a piece. But this one is a Neiman Marcus platter, so I thought it was definitely worth that. So I picked it up. My friend Ellen found that one. This one is, I just bought this because it reminded me of Courier and Ives. This one was 70, I'm sorry, $7.99. This one was $7.99. And I don't know if you can see, but there's the lady and gentleman in a horse-drawn carriage in the house. And I was like, that is just so pretty. That just, that reminds me because mom and dad had some Courier and Ives prints in their house. And that just kind of remind, right, reminded me of that. So I picked that one up. And then I got one more, which has snowmen on it. And this one was $14.99. I don't know what the difference was in these, um, but I just loved it. I thought it was cute. I actually thought since we were going for the snowman theme, that might be cute with this in the middle of it with a little, you know, one of these, something like that. So if I don't break it beforehand. All right, so the next thing that I got, the next thing that I got was I bought this old Christmas Santa. This was $8.99 and I took a chance on him because I don't know if I don't know if people will like him or not, but he is definitely vintage. And I will probably go in with him. And he at one time, I believe, there's two holes in the back here. So I think at one time 
he must have had a hanger or something on here. But I just think he is cute. Um, and what I'll eventually do is I will go in and I will paint the back. The back looks a little bit unfinished, but he was $8.99 and 75% off. I took a chance on um, old Santa. Just uh, He was from Christmas Around the World, House of Lloyd. And I thought House of Lloyd is a known name. So I thought, well, we'll just see. <laughs> we'll just see if I can do anything with him. I may put a little bit of... Um, antiquing wax on him and just um, put a hanger on him and call it a day. So anyway, I think he's just, he's, he's cute. So definitely old, old school Santa. All right. <laughs> I know folks, I'm like, oh, I just, why did I do this? But the last thing I got was I bought some more books. I bought this one, A Christmas to Remember. This is a little book that has Bible verses and inspirational quotations that celebrate the reason for the season. And it's, you know, it looks like a brand new book. Of course, it was $1.99 with 75% off. Then stories behind the greatest, um, the greatest hits of Christmas. And this is, you know, like the, let It Snow, and The Christmas Carol, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Winter Wonderland, Jingle Bells. I just, oh, come all you faithful. It's the story behind some of these Christmas songs. And I thought that might just be interesting. This might be a good little gift to give somebody that you, I needed a little gift for. Or, you know, I could put it with something and sell it. The Heart of Christmas, a devotional for, se for the season. And I bought this mainly because it was by... Hank Hanengraff, who I really, really like. I don't know if you've ever listened to Hank Hanengraff, the Bible Answer Man. He's really good. I actually really like him. And there's all kinds of stuff in here about Christmas traditions and why we do the things we do. Uh, some of the older hymns in here, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Why do we sing those? It's in here in this book. It was $1.99. And here's one, a letter to Mary, a Savior's loving letter to his mother. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. This was $1.99. So this is basically a letter to Mary, just kind of like something that maybe Jesus would have said to Mary. I thought it was just sweet. I wouldn't presume to know what Jesus actually did say to Mary. But I'm sure it was wonderful, and this looked interesting to me. So $1.99 for that. Then I bought the Creative Christmas Kitchen for $1.99. And these are things, this has a bunch of recipes in here, also family traditions. Folks, I don't know about you all, but I like to look through books like this. I may never cook a thing in any of these books, but I do love looking at people's traditions and how to create new memories with my family. And I try to pull something every year and do something a little bit differently than I did the year before. So there's that one. Then here's this glorious Christmas crafts. Um, this just looked cute. It's got a lot of primitive looking crafts and things in here gifts to make, um, things that you can make with your kids. So I thought, well, maybe I might do some of that with my smallest grandson. He would probably like that. My phone dinged enough. I had to turn it off. Then Comfort and Joy, a celebration for $1.99. This is a leisure arts book. And it has recipes, it has um, different decorating ideas. It's just a pretty coffee table book to set out during the Christmas season. It's got decorating, entertaining, and giving. So I thought that was, you know, that was pretty cool. Book, these books are like brand new. They don't look like they've ever been opened. Here's the Christmas book, A Treasury of the Sights and Sounds, Crafts, Tastes and Joys of the Season. It's got, you know, kind of the same vibe going on, um, $1.99, and The Spirit of Christmas, Holiday Eyes Ideas, book number six. This one was $2.99. I don't know why that it was, but it was, but this one has actually has, probably because it's 
This one was $2.99 and probably because it has patterns in it. But I just love the looks of these people on the front. So I thought this would be beautiful decor. And what I kind of thought might be a good way to package this and market this for people would be to take this and take one of these platters, put the book on it, and sell it together like this, or gift it together like this. You could definitely put some cookies, and you don't have to make the cookies from scratch. You can go and buy cookies and then stick them on here, put them on here, put your saran wrap down, put your book on top, or put the book on bottom, take it to your neighbor and say, here, Merry Christmas, or take it to your coworker, here, Merry Christmas, and they have a lovely platter and book to keep afterwards. That's what I'm all about, is giving people something that they can keep as a memento, and every year when they use this platter, they'll think about the lovely gift that you gave them. Oh, folks, as you can see, I've still got stuff over here that I have to do something with. So I am in the process of figuring out how to best store this stuff. So right now I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to store this stuff. I will probably initially store everything in boxes and totes that I have collected um, and then just kind of go from there. But um, I wanted to share this with you. I'm actually going thrifting again this coming Friday and I don't know what I'll find because I'm not going to a Christmas store. I'm just going with a friend who's actually on a specific mission for a specific thing that we see in the thrift store all the time, which is mirrors. She's looking for mirrors for her home because she's going to make a mirrored uh, wall in her home. So I told her I would go with her and we're going to hit about five or six different ones. Um, I will try to film some of that if they will let me. Sometimes when I go, I'm so quick in and out, it's just really hard for me to film. And if I'm with a friend, I don't really like to film because sometimes they don't want to be on camera. And it kind of makes it hard if there's a lot of people in there because you don't want to put people on camera because then you're in a whole different world of filming people without their knowledge and they can kind of sue you for that. So sometimes it's kind of hit or miss and sometimes the store just doesn't want you to and sometimes Carm is a little funny about that. I used to know one of the managers at the Knox Area Rescue Ministries, which is what we call Carm here in Knoxville. So if you hear me refer to Carm, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, sometimes um, they're a little funny about that and um, I used to know one of the managers and he used to let me come in and film and that's why I've got some of my earlier videos. I've got me actually there filming some stuff and fashion shows and stuff. Well, he's not there any longer and they are kind of, they've gotten a little strange about that. So, um, that's not going to be something I'm probably going to be able to do unless I can talk them into it. But there's my haul. And I feel like I have gotten a lot of glassware and you know, I hope that that wasn't a mistake. So we will find out as the year progresses, progressives, progresses and as things go along and I just couldn't resist all this stuff. So if worse comes to worse, I've got some really awesome Christmas books that I can give away and I have some awesome platters that I can give as gifts and I have some new decor and I can give away all kinds of stuff that I have because I haven't spent a ton of money on it. So, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. May the Lord be with you. God bless you guys. Maranatha. Bye-bye.